everybody. Well, it is Monday after work <laughs> and supper, so um, I'm going to do my daily, but first I wanted to open this with you. I've ordered um, a couple of books from Nanami Papers, and, um, and this one I had shown you that I had ordered um, for my daily uh, journal, keeping track of things that I do. Um, it's pretty uh, casual, but I do it every day. So that's for next year, and that has 384 pages, and this is a B6 size. Well, I just got the one that I ordered for my beautiful A5 Traveler's Notebook Cover from Our Atelier. So I'm so excited that that has arrived. So I thought, well, let's just open that before we do the process video for the regular journaling. Excited to see this in person. I'm thinking I'm going to cut off this priority. Um, Sticker. Anyway, we'll see how that goes. Thought maybe I could stick that in my journal today. Okay. Got a bunch of stuff for my journal today. So I'm gonna put that over here to kind of keep it in line. All right, I got a bunch of ephemera today, so here we go. Let's take it out of here. There's the thing from my order. And it's well wrapped. <laughs> That much is for sure. All right. There we go. Studio note. And this is Tomoe River paper. And it's an A5. And it has 480 sheets of paper in it. I'm super excited about this. I think I'll save this lovely piece for a journal. I love to use these in journals. They're just perfect, you know, because they're nice and neat, and I like them. So, put that aside, and it comes in a nice little cover. And here it is. And it's just um, grid. It's just... Um, I like writing on the grid, it's the graph paper. Not the dot grid, but the graph paper. So I love that. Anna love this. Isn't this beautiful, like, homemade paper at the beginning? It's really pretty. It's kind of a nice. Made in Japan. And it's not homemade, but it's a nice paper. It's got a little fleck pattern to it. So this, baby, goes right in here. And just like this. And I tightened up all my strings. This is a nice system in here for tightening your uh, elastics that she does. I love it. And so this will be in here. And I think I want it here. Or maybe, you know, it's probably, will it be easier to write back here? Here. have to kind of decide what's going to be the easiest thing and I've got one I got a lot of journals so I have been thinking about what I want to use them for and I think this might be easier to actually write in the back rather than the front. 
at least till I, you know, part way, and then I can switch it back. So that's, I'm thinking, yeah, to start, that's actually going to work much better. So that was going to go there if it was in the front. So now it's going to be this one instead. And that means in the front, I will put this journal. So we'll just switch them around. And I'll put this right here. And that will stick out a tiny bit. So it's pretty thick. So now I could take out, say I was trying to decide because one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That means I can take out one because I know I don't need um, all of these in here. So I'm going to just take one out for now. And that means I'm going to want to tighten this one up better. There we go. Because it's by itself. Because I left this string here. And I also left one at the front. So that gives me six journals total. in here. I think that's better. I think that works. That's going to work better. And the other one I'll just wait and I'll use it when I need to put another one in. I'll be able to do that and it won't be any problem. But yeah, that's certainly enough um, for here. So I'm super excited about getting to use that. Um, it's going to be so wonderful. It looks like I need to move something up a little because of taking out one. All right, so now it's all ready for me to write in. And I have, um, oh, I have kind of decided morning pages, childhood memories, poems, doodles, short stories, and jot it down brain dump. And um, I want to decorate the covers. Uh, the covers are decorated, but I, I need to write what they are. And this is going to be the morning pages for me. That's where I do a lot of my more in-depth um, journaling, uh, dealing with thoughts and such um, in my brain. And I was going to stick this in here, and I forgot so that I can remember to what I'm going to do because I need to write that down on the different journals. Decide which ones are going to be um, for what, which things. So that baby is all ready for writing. Put that back out by my um, recliner. <clears throat> and yeah, got left with that. I'll probably throw it away eventually, but right now I'm not going to throw it away. Do you know how that is? You just keep stuff. You don't know why, <laughs> but you just do. It's just like that. That's all it is. This is weird. Anyway, so today, today we'll take up more paper for sure. Like yesterday, I didn't take up so much, but today I got all kinds of stuff. So I'm going to put some things in here. Well, last night I had this um, kettle corn. So I thought I would put that in as a tip. Um, and then I'll put something else down here because I did want to do that. And I'm going to put this here because this morning I made... Mm, I'm going to come back to that. Let's just, let's put this in. <laughs> we'll have some packaging in here because packaging is always fun. I, sometimes I get like coughing, I start coughing and absolutely nothing will make it stop. Um, water won't make it stop. I have to 
suck on something and these vitamin C supplement drops, I just get them at the Dollar Tree. Um, I, I know there's other places where they are, but um, that's where I get them. And they, I have them in my purse, different purses in my at the office so that I can, uh, whenever that hits me, I can just grab one of those and start, you know, use it so that I'm not coughing all over the place because that is not fun. That's all I can say. So yeah, this is weird, you know. Just start coughing and you can't quit. So, let's just put this on here. It's a little bit too long. Let's just put it right here and we can flip this over. So it's the perfect size. And fix this up here too so it looks all right. So we'll just go right down here. So that's just kind of a fun way to have some of extra ephemera in there. So that was that was yet part of yesterday's ephemera. Now today um, I went to the gym and I did increase. Um, I don't know what it is I increased, but I increased some part of it. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, um, like it's not the elevation, but it's the other part, maybe the resistance. I increased one. When I started, um, the resistance or whatever on the arc is a scale of, oh, I would say one to, well, it doesn't even start at one. I'm not sure what it starts at, but I think I started at like 11. And I'm up to 19 on that. And I started at number three on the elevation and I'm at four on the elevation. So I'm just slowly um, going up as uh, every week. If I remember, I try to, um, I try to go up on that. I, sometimes I miss, but I do. If I remember, I, I do adjust that every Monday when I go. So this, it was just a wet, dreary, cold day all day. It did get up to 45, but it was rainy all day long. I mean, all day long. It was just not the best weather, that's for sure. And um, so I came home from that and um, later uh, after, before breakfast, I made a ham salad. So that's the ham and that's the shredded Parmesan. There was peppers in it and stuff. And um, so I made that for uh, a big batch of it for sisterhood tomorrow night because I am going to be our table a bunch of the tables, it's potluck, so all the odd numbered tables are bringing food. So I am at table seven. So that's what we're doing. I'm gonna put this here just to denote that I got that from Nanami um, Papers. And I'll get that down. So there's not a whole lot to put down here, and that, that's it. Anyway, work was fairly normal. It wasn't super busy for a Monday, which was good. Had some computer issues for the first hour of the morning, and then somehow it just magically straightened out. I think it was Monday morning computer, computer issues, being a pain in the butt. Something like that, right? And, um... Came home and had I had some of the ham salad for supper because my husband was going to his explore thing class at church, and then um, um, think Terry blah. Then 
I'm going to use some of this tape. Um, so that's what I did. And then I'm just doing this, working on journal stuff for a while. I'll stop to watch Wheel of Fortune, and then I will just uh, continue on. This is so cute. I'm going to... These are just donuts with sprinkles. <laughs> so cute. Let's see if I can get it on here correctly. Tomorrow is midterm elections, and Minnesota's doing their governor, senator, House of Representatives, district judges. Just a ton of things are up for vote. And so um, it feels like more than ever this year, it's very important to get out and vote for those midterms. So uh, my husband and I are planning to go vote before work. Fortunately, we vote in the church right across the street. So we, we don't even have to go far. In fact, if it wasn't gonna be all rainy and icky and maybe some mixed snow rain precept, I'd just walk over there. But since it's not gonna be nice, not gonna be walking. Then, um, yeah, so tonight, I'm just gonna watch, gonna watch some TV later on after I do some more journaling, because I wanna work in that um, nature and lit journal that I'm doing for Connie. So that's kind of on my mind to to do. Can I do you? Is it gonna work? Is that gonna work? <laughs> no. <laughs> I need a smaller one. All right. That means I gotta open up a new package. New package. Don't think I have any other little owls anywhere. It's because I have not looked. I know I I can get them. Just go to the Dollar Tree and get them. But I have not done it yet. There's another one of these great pieces that I love to put in journals. Oh, my nose today. It's so cold. All right. So let's do, we need a tiny owl right there. There we go. I'm just doing one owl per day. So the, um, Instead of like every page. But yeah, I like it so far. I like that page. I think it turned out good. Tomorrow is voting, as I said. So I decided I pulled this just from um, an ad we got just because it was cute. And it says vote November 6th and this cute kid is on it. So I, it doesn't matter to me who is the one who put this out. Um, I just wanted to uh, make note that tomorrow I need to do my voting, do my duty as a citizen of the United States and vote. So that's that. So we'll save that for tomorrow and then I'll get the little sticker. You always get this little red sticker that says I voted and I'll stick that probably here over this little paid advertisement thing. But yeah, there you go. Not too bad, pretty uh, simple and I like it and I feel good because I'm keeping up. All right, thanks so much for watching. Um, hope you enjoyed it, bye.